When shopping around for the best NAS, if you have a Plex system in mind as to what you'll be using your NAS for, there are a few additional factors to consider. To enjoy all your favorite 4K content, you'll need to have a capable NAS enclosure, which means a powerful CPU. That's where this collection of enclosures come into play, allowing you to take your media to the big screen without any buffering. Choosing the best NAS for home is one thing, but picking the right NAS for Plex is a whole different game. It's easy to look at the most affordable enclosures available and pick them for Plex, which would be sufficient for music and phones. Still, if you plan on transcoding and streaming 4K content, you'll need powerful components for Plex NAS compatibility. We have listed the top 5 Plex NAS and their key features plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all the products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, legitpick.com. Number 5. Synology Disk Station DS220 Plus NAS The Synology Disk Station DS220 Plus may be considerably more affordable than our top NAS picks for Plex, but don't let that fool you into assuming it won't be able to handle its own. This capable enclosure comes rocking an Intel Celeron G4025 processor, which is more than enough to handle 4K transcoding of movies, so long as you only have one stream running. It's not about the CPU, however, which is why Synology included 2GB of DDR4 RAM and you can upgrade that later if you find yourself hitting capacity often. The only drawback is two drive bays, which does restrict just how much you can store on the NAS. If you configure your drives to be in a RAID configuration, you will be left with up to 16TB of storage space. Other highlights include two 1GB LAN ports that can be linked together to increase available bandwidth to your router or switch. There are a few USB ports too that let you hook up external storage or accessories. The OS is one of the best around for Synology, allowing you to get more done. Installing drivers inside this enclosure is also a breeze, thanks to the hot swappable tool-less design of the base. Simply extract, install the drive, and reinsert, and you're good to go. This isn't the best NAS out there for Plex, but it won't cause a hole in your wallet. Bottom line, my pick for the best affordable Plex NAS Synology simply has to be the best disk station DS220+. The company recently released this enclosure with improved internals and a better CPU. It's a fantastic NAS enclosure for the price and can even handle some 4K transcoding should you require it. Number 4. TerraMaster F2 221 The TerraMaster F2 221 is an impressive NAS. It has but two drive bays, so you won't be storing much of this enclosure if you configure RAID. So that leaves 16 terabytes of capacity, which could be increased using an external storage unit, but it's the processor where this little unit truly shines. The Intel Celeron G3355 is good enough to handle most of the things you need to do with plugs. Stream to multiple devices? Check. Trust code a few movies that aren't compatible? Check. It's when you try to enjoy 4K content that requires transcoding is where it all starts to fall apart. So long as everything is in line, you can watch 4K movies on this small enclosure. This aided by the fact that the Term Master lets you upgrade the 2GB of RAM to 6GB. That's equally impressive for such an affordable NAS enclosure. Add in the two 1GB ports and two USB 3.0 ports and you've got an excellent starter enclosure for anyone who has yet to own a NAS or set up and enjoy Plex Media Server. Bottom line, 2 is the magic number for the F2221, not only in the model number but also with the specifications. It has 2GB of RAM, 2 1GB LAN ports, and 2 USB 3.0 ports. Oh, and 2 drive bays. Your affordable entrance to the wonderful world of NAS and Plex awaits you. Number 3. Asustor Locker Store AS6604T Asustor's Locker Store AS6604T is a fantastic choice if you want multi-gigabit networking. The NAS has a powerful hardware that's ideally suited for Plex, but it is the dual 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port at the back that make it stand out. There's also an HDMI port that lets you plug in the NAS directly to a TV or monitor, and the Intel Celeron J4125 can handle Plex 1080p and 4K transcodes without any issues whatsoever. You get 4 gigabytes of RAM out of the box, and the four drive bays can hold 80 terabytes of storage in total, more than enough for even demanding users. Plex is available natively on the NAS, and the Assistor has a set of tools that let you stream content directly to Twitch or YouTube, making the as 6604 t a decent option for content creators as well. Number 2. QNAP TVS 67-2 XT The QNAP TVS 67-2 XT is the best NAS for Plex, in my opinion. The balance between price and functionality is excellent, making it the most powerful enclosure for this price point by a country mile. This is primarily due to the impressive Intel Core i3-8100 tree processor, which is far beyond the Intel Celeron CPUs found in more affordable enclosures. It's not the best CPU you can find in a NAS, but if you plan on going for an Intel Core i5 or Core i7, you'll be expected to pay for the luxury. The integrated graphics and four physical cores are more than a match for 4K transcoding, which is required if you want to stream a 4K movie to a TV or other receiving devices that doesn't support the file format. 
the Intel Core CPU is joined by 8GB of DDR4 RAM, which can be upgraded to 32GB, further cementing this NAS as a substantial investment for the future. The drive bays are more than enough for storing all your media, with up to 96TB of capacity available. But the Hilux specifications don't end there. There is a single 10GB LAN port, potentially handling network speeds towards 1000MB per second. Then you have USB-A 3.1 Gen 2 ports and a further single USB-C 3.1 Gen 2 port as well as HDMI. The only drawback to this NAS is the price, which can put some people off. Bottom line, the QNAP TVS 67-2 XT is the best NAS for a Plex in our collection. It houses an Intel Core i3 8100T processor, which is ideal for transcoding of 4K movies. And there are 8 drive bays for storing all your favorite shows, music, movies, and photos. The single 10GB LAN port is brilliant for high-speed networks. This NAS takes all the right boxes. Number 1. Synology Disk Station DS920 Plus The Disk Station DS920 Plus has the same foundation as the DS220 Plus, but with a few key upgrades. This NAS is the ideal choice if you share your Plex library and need additional bandwidth or you want to transcode 4K media. You get faster Intel Serolon G4125 chipset, 4GB of RAM out of the box, M.2 slots for SSD caching, and 4 drive bays that can hold up to 64TB of storage. You get the same dual gigabit Ethernet ports, two USB 3.0 ports, and there's also an eSATA port at the back. The Disk Station DS920 Plus is an ideal Plex media server if you want to stream 4K content on your devices. The DS920 Plus handles 1080p and 4K transcodes just fine, so if you're using an older TV or a device that doesn't have the latest codecs and containers, the NAS will decode the file and play it on the TV. Furthermore, when it comes to playing 4K files on your home network, you'll need to consider the network bandwidth. 4K files have a bitrate of over 100 megabit and storage. That's where the 2 gigabit Ethernet port on the DS920 Plus come in handy, and the 4 drive base that can hold a total of 64 terabytes of storage should be more than adequate for most users. If you think that the 64 terabytes of storage may not be enough, Synology has a DX517 expansion unit that adds 5 drive base to your DS920 Plus. That's another 80 terabytes of storage. If you're looking for drives to fill up the DS920 Plus, the 8 terabyte Iron Wolf NAS hard drive is the ideal option. Let us know in the comments down below which NAS you're going to choose. Thanks for watching and that's all for this video. If you liked this video and it'll help you in any way, please give this video a like and if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.